Welcome to the Way to Play Performance Series. And this episode is power packed because we're talking about the Green Bay Packers versatile and Pro Bowl defensive end or linebacker or three technique. I don't know what he is, but I know he's a great player and that's the Darius Smith. But we're gonna talk you through and walk you through what makes him so special. So Darius Smith has become known as one of the most versatile pass rushers in the NFL. It doesn't matter if you line him up on a tackle, a guard, or a sender. He's walking around, he's standing up, he's effective. And one of his most effective moves is the push-pull. He pushes the offensive line athlete, pulls himself through, and creates pressures and sacks. Way before we talk push-pull, we got to think about what's really starting this whole play. And that's his acceleration, that is his get-off coming from the two-point stance. One of our favorite movements for giving context to acceleration is these push, these get-offs onto a box. So I'm gonna take Josh here. He's gonna grab a 10-pound plate. This could be a med ball, maybe a dumbbell. It could be a bigger plate. We're gonna start light. And I want Josh to get in what we call a sprinter stance. You'll see his knee is tracking his toes. It's kind of loaded on the front, the ball of the foot. And all Josh is gonna do, simultaneously, he's gonna put force to the ground with that right leg, that up leg, and drive himself up and punch the weight away from him. So go ahead. Good, let's go again. Good, so coaching point here, when we finish in this fixed position, what we want is this glute squeeze. So in this case, the right glute is squeezed. We want the ball of the foot in the ground. We want all five toes on the ground. We're pushing the ground away. The, you'll feel it in the calf. You're gonna feel it in this outer glute. You'll feel it in the adductor. And we wanna be a strong press right here and this, this core activated. So go ahead, before we start, understand that we wanna get as tall as possible. We're not just putting our foot up on the box. We're driving, getting tall as possible and falling forward and catching on the box. And when we catch, we wanna be in this engaged position and engaged tense posture. Go ahead. Good. So what we have to understand is that Zadarius Smith is accelerating out of this two point stance from all over the box. He's lined up over centers, he's lining up over three techs, and he's getting this good push pull, but this is the context, this is the starting position. We get enamored with what the play ends as. We're talking pressures and sacks. We have to understand that he's accelerating off that ball and this is a good way to start. Taylor just gave you the recipe, the foundation to Zadarius Smith's success. Now the question is, what happens after the get off? We know that he's not leading with his head. He's playing with his hands first, but he's not reaching out to give you a hug. He's reaching out to be dynamic and explosive, and that's what all great defense alignment have. So we're not gonna take you through how to develop explosive and dynamic hands. Now you know what makes the Darius Smith so special. It's two things. It's the get off. That's always gonna be the foundation of great performance, but it's the hands, how he's using his hands in an explosive and dynamic fashion. So we're gonna build those. We're gonna get Josh on down into a push-up position. Now some may say, well, it's just a simple push-up. Well, you'd be surprised how many young athletes, and I would even say older athletes, actually struggle with doing a proper push-up. Commonly what you see is hip sag. That's not what we're looking for. A good push-up is gonna challenge the core, challenge the glutes, and obviously we're gonna get some upper body work here. But it's gonna be a bit more dyamic like Zedarius. So Josh is gonna do a simple plyometric push-up. He's gonna apply some violent force and think about pushing the earth away. Now, come on up. Here's the key to this. What you don't want to see is Josh or you allow the elbows to flare out. The coaching cue is to put your elbows into your pockets. Good, hop on up, Josh. Why is that so important? It's important because if Josh were Zedarius, just a you know, slightly smaller version of Zedarius, if he were to apply pressure with the elbows out, he's not gonna be as effective as if he's here. So that's why you wanna focus on putting the elbows into the pockets. So we're gonna now combine that with some pulling because a part of a good strong press is you need a good foundation to which to drive from. So now as we get on down, we're gonna just simply do a dynamic row. Snatch and think about again, driving the elbows through the pockets into the sky. The key here is good posture. We don't want to see you leaned over and letting the elbows flare out. Give him a couple reps of what that looks like. All righty, turn towards the way to play sign, flip it around, give him a couple shots of that. This is obviously incorrect. That's not what we're doing. 
Now what we're gonna do here is build on it. Josh is now gonna take you through how to even build more explosive and dynamic power like Zedarius. What you got for us, Josh? So the number one way we build more explosion, we add more speed to it. Obviously with the body weight movements, even the push-up can get a little challenging. It's not as fast as Zedarius Smith. So we can throw something very similar to the same press that we did with the push-up. Now we're gonna be on our feet, so I'll give you the ball, LB. So you want me? Oh, to oh yeah. You know I'm too old for this. Hey, you, you right. got in the video, okay. so you gotta do the demo. All right. So what I got. We're gonna get into that hinge position that we were in, that I was in with the row. We're gonna make sure we're keeping everything stacked just like the push-ups. Now we're slamming the ball into the ground with our arms and we're focusing on keeping the elbows tight, just like the push-up. The principles of the movement transfer to everything, so that's good. So you saw there, you were maintaining that nice this neutral way? position. Yeah, face that way, that's good. Okay, coach, what you got me? You were maintaining that nice position. Let's look, show a couple bad reps where you're using the back to throw and you're really uh, getting that little C curve in the spine. We don't want that, we're not very explosive. So we wanna make sure we're maintaining that neutrality as you said. And then, so that was the press. Obviously with the push pull, we gotta get a pull in as well. So we're gonna do an overhead slam. This is focusing on building the lats, the muscles in the back. And again, we're ending in that hinge position that you were in, in the press. Good, one more rep there. Uh, that was enough. Okay. That was enough for us. So <laughs> that's how you take the two movements and kind of combine them into something that's more functional and gonna show up on the field a little bit more. Perfect. So now I just took you through with Josh. As you can see, I'm old, I'm tired, I'm low winded. But the idea here is simple. So Darius Smith is effective because great get off, dynamic hands. Now, Brian and CJ will take you through how to combine the get off with hands and turn it into production because that's what you want. You want to be a producer of sacks, tackles, and whatever else defensive linemen do. A great push pull starts with a great get off and you're strong and powerful in the upper body. But what makes 55 so good at it is his timing and reactivity from it. So there's an art to the push pull. And what's happening is the great get off sets everything up and then there's a strong strike. But as soon as he feels this offensive lineman start to, he's gonna rock back. And once he starts to feel him lean forward a little bit, that's when that pull comes and that disengagement comes. So here's a little thing we can do in training to kind of mimic that. All you need is a stick, a broomstick, a mop stick, whatever you have, we have a bamboo bar. Your partner's gonna have it and CJ's gonna start in a staggered stance just like you'd be getting off the ball. And okay, you need a good partner here. CJ is gonna keep great posture and I'm just gonna give a push and pull and he's gonna react when I'm pushing and pulling. So right now I'm gonna push on him, he's gonna press away and then when I pull, he's gonna row it back and then I'm gonna press into him, he's pushing away. When I pull, he's gonna row it back, press and pull. And now we can go to one side and get one arm. So if I'm pushing, he's gonna push. When I start to pull, he rows, push, he rows it in. Good. Now, again, you need a good partner for this because what you don't want to have happen is the, the partner is pushing so hard, CJ starts flopping all over the place, as you can see here. Now that we've gone through the nuance of the push-pull, when you're playing a player with such power, great get-off, and good upper body strength, what makes it so hard to play against that player defending against the push-pull? Well, it's rough because it sets you up for the okey-doke. Uh, you know, with that get-off, all that strength, right, what the offensive line athlete sometimes wants to do is lean because he wants to get ready for all that demolition coming at him, you know? And then right when he thinks the pressure's coming and it touches him, it's gone all of a sudden. So now you get caught leaning. Or the get off really takes you and stands you up. Now you're off balance, then it pulls you. So really what the offensive line athlete has to do is kind of maintain his stance. It really maintains some integrity in his core and his torso all the time because you never know when the move is coming. So if you're that guy that's always trying to defend against that get off right out the gate by leaning a little bit or you're not really maintaining that stance, it's going to be a tough world to live in and to be successful and consistent in. And so playing a player like Zedarius, it's going to make it that much more hard. It's going to be a headache all day. Now you have the knowledge and tools to build your game similar to what Zedarius Smith is able to do week in and week out. So let's get out here and play some football.